In this problem video, I'm going to show you how to find Z star or your critical value for any confidence interval. It doesn't matter what it is. So in this case, I'm going to do 96%. So what you're going to do is I always draw the picture. Because we want a 96%, I put 0.96 here in the middle. Now if you want a 99%, you put that in the middle, 95%, 97%, anything you want, you put that amount in the middle. So 96% means put 0.96 in the middle. Then figure out how much is going to be in each tail. So if I do 1 minus 0 0.96, that's going to give me 0 0.04. But that's both tails combined. So if I take that and divide by 2, I get 0 0.02. So that would be in one tail. So I have 0 0.02 in this tail. I have 0 0.02 in this tail. And I'm looking for this Z star value that makes this dividing line right here. There are two ways you can do this. Either way, you're going to get the right answer. Okay, I can look up, because our table only gives us areas to the left. It doesn't give us areas in the middle. So I could look up what this line is, and it has 0.02 to the left. So if I go to my normal curve and look at 0.02, okay, so normal curve, I'm looking for an area that's in the inside of 0.02. The closest I'm going to get is this negative 2.05. Now, if you have a calculator, it'll be slightly more precise. If you went with this value, it's just going to be slightly different, not a big deal. So it looks like my z value is negative 2.05. So this is negative 2.05. Now, we always want a positive value, so we could come over here and say, by symmetry, this z star would now be positive 2.05. So if you look at 0.02, you get z equals negative 2.05. We could also look up and say, well, what's this value? What's all the area to the left? That would be 0.98. So we can look up 0.98 on my table and see what z value we get. So scroll down until you get 0.98 in the middle, because again, that's where the areas are. Here's my closest. It looks like we're at z equals 2.05. So we get z equals 2.05. And again, we just, for confidence intervals, always go with the positive result. 